What's up, my YouTube friends? Johnny V out here on Governor Nichols. Uh, just down there is the French Market. I just finished doing a little video on the French Market down there. Walking on Governor Nichols towards towards North Rampart, towards the Armstrong Park area. This is going to be Charter Street. Charters. Charters. And after that is Royal. Royal Street to next intersecting. Sorry for that. Motorcycle is loud. So it's, I just passed up Charters and it's Royal, then Bourbon Street, then Dauphine, then Burgundy. Looks like Burgundy, but I think it's pronounced Burgundy. Everybody pronounces it Burgundy for some reason. Then after Burgundy is North Rampart. So, you know, these streets parallel the river. Like, they run like the river. Charters. Well, first is Decatur. Decatur is the big main street with um, Cafe Du Monde and all that touristy stuff on it. Well, most of the quarters touristy, but anyway, it's uh, Decatur, then Charters, which is behind us. Then coming up is Royal Street. After Royal, it'll be the ever popular Bourbon Street. Then Dauphine. Then Burgundy is the last parallel street in the French Quarter before the main street of North Rampart. A lot of streets on this side of Canal Street will be called North. If, if they have the same name on the other side of Canal Street, it'll be called South. North, no, this is the north side of Canal Street, even though it's really more east. This is the downriver side, downriver side of Canal Street. All the French Quarter is on the downriver side of Canal Street. And on the uh, upriver, on the, on the opposite side of Canal Street is like the warehouse district. This is Royal. This is Royal Street. A lot of um, antique shops and stuff like that. Let me zoom in for that. Not much going on down this way. It's only like one or two blocks. I think two blocks until until Esplanade. So we're in the. I want to say the corner. I want to say the corner of the French Quarter. The most downriver side, most downriver corner, most downriver and the most the closest to the river. Well. I'm walking away from the river now. The river is directly behind me. This is the 700 block of Governor Nichols. A lot of homes. Let's see what this sign up here says. Cage Hospital. Hospital Street. <laughs> when New Orleans was the capital of the Spanish province of Louisiana, this street bore the name Cage de Hospital. That's interesting. Hospital. I guess there was a hospital on this street, so they named it Hospital Street. Or well, probably they named it Case Hospital. That's a really quiet area here. I think this will be the part of the French Quarter not a lot of people see because there's really not a lot going on but you know I'm gonna look at this video in 20 years when I'm super old I'm already old I want to want to look at this video in 20 or 25 years and see how things changed hopefully YouTube's still around oh well I'm still zoomed in uh, hopefully YouTube's still around and I can look at that video and see I'm sure I mean a lot of different colors they have ordinances what color you can paint buildings and stuff. You can't be super loud or something, I think. I don't know the exact rules, but it's super pretty. Hmm. So that was Bourbon Street, believe it or not. That was Bourbon Street. And the next street will be Dauphine. I'm gonna try to do video on both sides like you know even though I'm on this street you can see more of what's on the other side of the street so I'm gonna try to you know over the course of a few months I'm gonna get on the other side of the street and video this side of the street and some of these have been really nicely renovated refurbished and some of them some of them not so much some of them look like they haven't been touched in 20 or 30 years 
maybe longer some of them this one could use a ni nice sanding of the shutters and you know a new paint job those red bricks are super ugly or rather more like a natural color like i think that's called bone or biscuit color or something i don't know off-white egg 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 what they call it egg shell eggshell color i like more of a, like a neutral color like this like a beige this is camino de bayona bayona huh. this is dauphine street that's cool when new orleans was the capital of the spanish province of louisiana this street bore the name camino de bayona by i think b-a-y is pronounced by Bayona. Nine times out of ten when in Spanish it's something A Y is pronounced I. Like the word I, like the word I is like H A Y, it looks like hey. <laughs> but that's I. There are. There is or there are. I don't think there's a difference in Spanish. I've been studying, but I have still have a very long way to go. <laughs> Alright, six minutes, that's not too bad. I wonder if I can get to get the north rampart and turn around and come back the other way on the next street. I don't know what the next street is. I'm talking about the next street that way. I think Governor Nichols. One of them's Ursuline. Ursuline might be that way. I'm not sure. I think Ursuline runs that way. I'm on Governor Nichols. Maybe the next one is Bar Barracks. I know that's one of the streets that run run that way. We're down like the I want to say 1200 block of these streets that are running the opposite direction. Let's catch an address. I think it's either 12 or 13, maybe even 14. I think it only, I think it only goes up to like 1400 until you get to Esplanade Avenue. And when you cross Esplanade, catch an address. That has an address right there, 1141. So that would be the 1200 block. Let me get across. On the corner of Governor Nichols and Burgundy, crossing Burgundy. Then we'll be out to uh, North Rampart where they got this, the new streetcar track. I'll say new. It's probably been five or eight, five or seven years since they opened that streetcar line on Rampart. I don't think it's very heavily used. It's a shame that you know. And I'd like to say I'd, I'd like to say that I would use it if I lived you know down there and I worked in the worked in you know somewhere near Canal Street, but you never know. I said I'd go to a lot of baseball games if we had a baseball team too, and I only went to a few. We had we had a Triple A team called the Zephyrs, New Orleans Zephyrs, and it was even it was even in Metairie where I live. It's only five or six minutes from where I live, and I still didn't go to a lot, but it was so freaking hot in the summer. I mean, the last thing you want to do after working all day, you work all day in the heat, and the last thing you want to do is go sit in some more heat, even though it's nighttime. It's super hot in New Orleans at night. Humidity's high. I mean, like now it's October. It's it's not bad. It's it's not cool. You don't need a jacket or anything, but it's 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 doable. You can go sit out and you can go sit somewhere in the, at nighttime. I mean, I'm walking in the I'm walking in the summer. I'm walking in the daytime in the heat. It's like 84 degrees, and that's like 28, 29 degrees Celsius if you don't know Fahrenheit. It's like 84, 85 degrees, and that's about 30 degrees, 30, 60, 60. It's like, yeah, 30 degrees with 86, so it's almost 30 degrees out here. So, it's pretty hot. The record temperature is 90 degrees for this date, and we're only we're only 3 to 4 degrees away from it. I think we're going to hit 85, 86 today, and we're only 4 to, if we hit 80, if we hit 86 degrees today, we're only 4 degrees from, you know, the record high of 90. That's ridiculously warm ridiculously warm for the end of October when we're trying to break record we're trying to break a record you know what I'm saying we're trying to break a, a, a 100 200 year old record and we're trying to break it that's crazy there's a streetcar track I was telling you about not a lot going on here a lot of closed down businesses boarded up they're not boarded up but shuttered got the shuttered up they got the shutters closed so we say shuttered not a lot going down here look more shuttered i don't know why i don't know what these used to be so man i want to say mostly like 
souvenir shop kind of things maybe i don't know that's the only thing i can really see like or maybe even like a uh a spa or something oh this street looks ugly that looks like a warehouse this is nice here whatever this is they have a little balcony up top they have a balcony up front too that's nice all right over 10 minutes so i'm gonna try to get to bourbon street here first street's gonna be burgundy then uh dolphin then bourbon i'm gonna try to walk three blocks then maybe i'll turn on bourbon and walk back towards towards canal street where i parked parked on canal street in a lot near the river canal on the river So the, again, the address will be about 1100, 1200, maybe, maybe, maybe 900, about 1019 as the address. So theoretically, the way they set up the addressing system is it counts down towards the river. So when you get towards Decatur, it'll be like the last street. It'd probably be like two or 300 because there's a part, this is we're in the middle part and it goes out and then it goes out. So that's why they, that's why you won't get to the 100 block here. The river will hit before you know theoretically the 100 block would be but if you go anywhere to the left or you go anywhere to the right there'll be more blocks so i don't know what the name of the streets are called they're really short streets there's charters then the cater and then when it branches off you know close to canal street or close down to uh esplanade avenue they have, you know, some short streets that run a block or two, maybe, maybe three blocks at the most. And I don't, I can't think of the names of the streets because they're so short and I don't think there's really houses that are not streets or, I don't know. I'm just talking about stuff I don't know about. People blasting their rap music. I hear a lot of that. People will keep their windows rolled down. I mean, if I was in a car, I'd have my windows rolled up and the air conditioning blowing. You wouldn't hear my music because the windows would be rolled up and I'd have the air conditioning on high. Yeah, really peaceful, quiet area. This would be the second block. So with, with the first block was Burgundy, like I said. And this should be Dauphine. gotta be we passed burgundy already right we're about to see if i see a sign it's usually on the ground oh there it is right there dolphin okay so the next block is gonna be the next block is gonna be bourbon street and after that is royal bourbon then Royal, then after Royal is Charters, I believe. All right, I'm gonna smash that thumbs up. If you made it this far, it's a miracle. I don't know how you stuck it out that long, but it's a miracle. If you like Arch French and Spanish architecture, that's what a lot of this is from when the French and Spanish had rule of this area. I need to give me something to eat. I need to give me a shrimp po' boy. Where can I get me a shrimp po' boy? You'd think they'd be everywhere, but not really. You'd think to be like, oh, get your shrimp po' boy and show you pictures of, you know, shrimp rolling out the end of the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to where I know is good and in Metairie near my home, near my home, my, my home area. That's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go to Krabby Jack's on Jefferson Highway, where I know the where I know it's good, and they give you a whole bunch of shrimp for like thirteen or fourteen dollars. All right, now we're on Bourbon Street. People acting crazy taking pictures all right remember if you made it this far it's a miracle smash that thumbs up button i appreciate it and i'll see you all in the next video that's johnny b from french quarter new orleans louisiana peace out guys